Not so long ago, bison owned the prairie, but overhunting in the 1800s reduced the population from tens of millions to fewer than a thousand. Now a revival is underway, and a big part of that process is happening this week in western North Dakota. That's where I went to find this week's Someone You Should Know. The southeast corner of Theodore Roosevelt National Park is home to quite an operation this week. Uh, we're bringing our bison in from the range to uh, take some of the population away, which we hand off the majority to tribal recipients. Nearly every bison that calls the park's south unit home is being rounded up. Blake McCann is with the National Park Service. Our primary method is helicopter. So we use a helicopter to go out, engage the animals, and herd them to our facility. It's a slow process. If it were any faster, the bison might get spooked and run off. And it leads here to the park's low-stress handling facility. It's an intricate maze of flags, ropes, gates, and alleyways. Ultimately leading to a handling chute, where veterinarians microchip new bison and check in on repeat customers. We then learn something about uh, their lifespans, their reproductive capability, and, and other details that are useful for management. So the marking helps us know the individuals. But the final step of this process is the most important one. About 175 of the park's 500 bison are being sent down the road, donated to the Blackfeet Nation in Montana, the Standing Rock Sioux, and the three affiliated tribes. Today we're bringing home 30 more, so that takes our numbers up to 100 animals. The roundup is a win-win. For Theodore Roosevelt National Park, it keeps the herd from disrupting the ecosystem of their home on the range. It helps relieve grazing pressure on public lands. Um, for an animal like buffalo that's so, um, so really good at surviving and thriving when it's back out on the landscape. And for the Mandan, Hidatsa, and Arikara, it's a restoration of something sacred. To bring bison back to the people is like a resurgence of our identity and our culture. So uh, bring, sometimes it brings uh, tears to the elders' eyes to see those animals released back onto their, what we would say is their native lands. That's why the Bison Roundup team at Theodore Roosevelt National Park are all people you should know. That roundup happens every two years at the park's south unit. Mm -hmm. And those tribes will use these bison eventually for nutritional purposes, mm -hmm. for cultural purposes, and just to grow their own herds uh, on tribal reservations. Just an amazing process. It's really something to, uh, to see them getting corralled and moved yeah. around. And it's all a low-stress process mm -hmm. for the bison, too. It's, it's pretty quiet out there. Amazing. There's machinery thumping and everything, but they try to keep quiet and not spook those animals. A great future there. Yeah.